Pasta alla grigia, the most underrated Italian pasta, Roman pasta. I spent a week in Rome learning all the secrets about the Roman pastas, like bucatini, carbonara, cacio e pepe. And let me tell you, I think this is better than cacio e pepe. Yes, I said it. I want you to enjoy this marvelous Roman dish. And this is the best version I have ever made. So you are very lucky today. Come on, let's make it together. Mm. Mm. Pasta alla grigia is basically a carbonara without eggs or a cacio e pepe with extra guanciale. And this is how you make it. The pasta choice is the most important. Today I'm choosing mezze maniche, which is like half rigatoni, okay? The reason why I'm using this is because I want the guanciale to go inside. I, I want to see it too. I want the cream to be absorbed by this pasta, and, and I like it. You can use rigatoni. I love rigatoni, that's what they do in Rome. You can use paccheri, you can use spaghetti, you can use any pasta that you like, even fresh pasta if you want. But today, I choose mezza maniche. I'm using 250 grams of pasta for two people. So I count 125 grams per person. Pecorino Romano, 150 grams. So every 125 grams of pasta, we use 75 grams of pecorino romano. It's raining pecorino, alleluia, it's raining pecorino, alleluia. Guanciale, the pig chick, the pig chick guanciale. I love this, I love it. Now, this is 150 grams of, pe of guanciale. So same like pecorino. Last but not least, the black pepper, cacio e pepe. Pasta alla grigia, they need the pepper. The pepper is what makes the pasta alla grigia. Pasta alla grigia. Now, this is the guanciale, okay, the pig cheek. We got meat in the middle, fat on the side. The pancetta is not like that. Pancetta's got meat, fat, meat, fat. In Rome, some people remove the pepper side here to make it more delicate. It's up to you, you can do it or don't. What I'm gonna do here, see, I'm using a Victorinox knife with a good knife, look how easy it is to cut. Look at that, look at that. I wanna cut into slices. Nice slices. And what I like to do now is to cut strips, and I'll show you why. Strips of guanciale, because here we want the meat in the middle and fat on both sides. This is like when you make carbonara or matriciana. Much better than cutting into cubes. Like a good cacio e pepe, you start by toasting the black pepper, grinded on the spot. This is alla grigia, but don't forget, it's the sister of cacio e pepe. So we're following the same techniques. The aromas, the flavors of the black pepper are coming out into my nostril. Mmm, I love it. Honestly, we need to toss the pepper for like a minute, not even. Look how beautiful it looks. Now all the flavors of the pepper are out and we can put the guanciale. Let's put the guanciale in there so they can make love together. No oil is needed. So what we do is now we spread this around. The pepper is gonna give more flavor to the guanciale, even though the guanciale already has pepper on. Now soon you'll see, in less than five minutes, you will see the oil from the guanciale coming out. What we want to do, we take it off, we put it on kitchen paper. The kitchen paper is important, why? Because uh, you keep it crispy, okay? And also absorb the extra oil. But most importantly, it keeps this crispy. Because if you don't use kitchen paper, it might become soggy and you lose everything you've done. Now guys, we need to boil the pasta. So what we do is we get a large pot full of water and we put one tablespoon of sea salt or rock salt. 
Now let's put the mezze maniche in and they need about 10 minutes to boil. So the packet says it takes 10 minutes to boil and I'm going to boil them for 10 minutes. Now we need to make the cream for the gricia, okay? This is pecorino. Now we need to add lots of black pepper. Grind the black pepper on the spot. As much as you want, as much as you like, okay? Now all we need is the pasta water from the pasta. Now guys, the pasta is boiling. Make sure you stir so that it doesn't get stuck at the bottom. Let's get a mug of pasta water. We do need this, full of starch. Okay guys, so here we have a fork. We're gonna add a little bit of pasta water, a little bit at a time. And then we try to combine all the ingredients gradually, not all at once. So what we want to achieve here is a thick cheese ball. Bellissimo, I think we have it. We have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we want to achieve. Can you see this consistency? This is the consistency that we need for a gricia or cacio e pepe. This is gonna melt and turn into a beautiful pecorino cream once gets in contact with the pasta and the heat from the pasta. All right, the pasta has been boiling for 10 minutes. Let's try one to make sure it's al dente. Perfect. All right, now let's get the pasta off the stove. Let's put the pan back on so we can warm up the pan and the oil. Get the pasta and put it in the pan. All right, here we go with the mezzamanica. What I want to do now, I want to add a splash of pasta water. And now we want the pasta to make love. With the water, with the oil from the guanciale. And the pasta is going to absorb everything. Just a little toss. A little toss. Now, can you guys see here? Can you see what's going on here? Can you see we already have a kind of cream here? Look, see, it's already creamy. All I've done here, I've mixed the pasta water with the oil from the guanciale, the starch released by the pasta, and we already have a little cream. Now, let's get the pot here back on the stove. Let's put a pan on top, and now what we do, we use the steam from the bottom to create the cream. Now, this is the cheese. This is the thick pecorino bowl that we created before. Okay, I'm gonna put it in there. And now we start breaking it a little bit. And we want this to melt. And we want the pasta to absorb everything. We don't want strings, okay? No strings, please. We just want this to melt evenly. If I make strings, I fail. So no strings. A little bit of pasta water. And we keep mixing. Oh, this is gonna be very creamy. I already know, I already know, I already know, I already know. Put more pasta water. Gradually, you wanna see how much pasta water you put in there. It's getting creamier and creamier, see? I need a little bit more pasta water, but can you see it's getting creamier and creamier? A little bit more pasta water. And this should be perfect now. Ready? The creamiest pasta la gricia I've ever made. Look at that. Look at this beauty, guys. Look at this beauty. Last round of pasta water. Bellissimo. Now I'm gonna be generous with the guanciale. Let's put guanciale everywhere. And we keep some for decoration. And now I toss again, ready? This is creamier than cacio e pepe. This is creamier than carbonara. Guarda, guarda. Guarda, guarda, guarda. No strings. No strings attached. 
smooth, creamy, fantastico, bello, bellissimo, I just love it, I just love it so much, come on, let's serve, put a nice amount in the middle, can you see the cream, see the cream is calling you, please eat me, please, please eat me, and soon we are going to eat you, my friend, don't worry. La bella, yeah, 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 wow, put some guanciale everywhere, and here we have, ladies and gentlemen, pasta la gricia, made for you. The most important part of the recipe is the black pepper. And now we can call this pasta alla grigia, like in Rome. Guys, here we've been taking photos and videos and still, still creamy. The pasta is cold, but still creamy. And look at that. Look how fantastic it is. Oh, I really impressed myself. I never made a, a pasta alla grigia this good. Look, look how creamy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, the guanciale hidden in the mezza manica, <laughs> that's what I love about it, it's a, it's a surprise. Guys, this is a pasta not many people know about it, please let me know, are you one of them? Mm -hmm. If you go to Rome, you don't find this in many restaurants, in all the restaurants, because tourists don't know about it. But today I hope you're going to change the way you eat pasta, and this is a life-changing experience, let me tell you. Mmm. Mm. It's like a cacio pepe that you take to the next level. I don't know how to describe this. You need to try it and then you can tell me because I need you to write a comment below with a description. What would you describe this? How, how would you describe this? Mm. Creamy for sure. Mm. Crunchy for sure. Delicious. Marvelous. Oh, better than cacio pepe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. Mmm. E ora si mangia. Mmm. Vincenzo's Plate. Oh. Pasta alla grigia. This is better than carbonara. Mm, I said it. I said it. I said it. <laughs> <laughs>